Hey folks, this is Brandon from Triceratops Games, and I'm one of the designers of Journey Adventure Quest, or as we like to call it, Jack. We have some professionals doing walkthrough videos, but until then, this should give you a bit of the flavor. So let's start with a brief overview, and then I'll show you a sped up game session so you can get the feel of play. Let's do this! In Jack, players are heroes trying to protect an island by going on journeys to defeat an ever-evolving monster. Players draft cards dawn, noon, and dusk each day. Goals include finding equipment, learning spells, and discovering runes, treasure, and other arcane items. On the way to fight the monsters, heroes strive to win public quests and complete secret adventures. The hero with the most points wins. How do they get those? Victory points are gained through gathering items and completing adventures and quests, but heroes must be wary to avoid damage, which causes them to lose points. The general structure of the game is that there are three journeys, and those journeys are broken into two days each. On each day, players simultaneously draft cards from their hands and put them on their player mats, and then pass the hands to the next player. Once all players have drafted onto the three spots on their mats, they play the cards in the order they drafted them. To play cards, heroes pay for them and move them from their boards and onto the appropriate stacks. This cool stacking mechanic lets players build some awesome and entertainingly named pieces of equipment, like a volcanic, kraken, radiant, grizzly dream claw. After two days, they are ready, they hope, to fight the monster. Each hero that is stronger and smarter than the monster wins, but they must defend the monster's counterattack. Then the heroes get to compete for the loot the monster dropped. Before the next journey, the monster evolves. A monster card is stacked on top of the existing monster, making it grow bigger and badder, just like the equipment and spells. That means the heroes need to level up some more too. After the third monster battle, it's time to count points. So let's see that in action. Here's a simulated game where I'll show you my hand in actions and the other player's activities will happen off screen. Remember that players actually do play simultaneously, so nobody is sitting around and waiting for very long. Normal game setup, so let's do some shuffling, removing any cards that aren't needed for this session. Pick out monster cards and put those, the loot, and the tokens in a central place. Pass out the player mats and deal five adventure cards and three coins to each player. Set up the slot cards beside the mats, helmet up top, offhand chest and weapon in the middle, belt below, and spells to the side. Each player chooses three adventures from the five in their hand, then we pass out journey cards and get going. I pick a card, put it on dawn, and pass my hand. Next card in noon, then dusk. Flip over the dawn card and play it, and then noon and dusk. On the second day, I search for and pick three more cards and discard the last card. Pay for the cards as you play, play them in the appropriate stacks. Okay, now it's time to fight the monster. I'm stronger and smarter, so I win. And I didn't receive damage. I didn't win the loot, though. Evolve the monster for journey two, then pass out the journey cards. Place the drawn card in dawn, and I'm passing right now, then on to noon and dusk. Okay, let's do our flips and play dawn, noon, and dusk. So on the second day, draw into dawn, noon, and dusk. Play each of them in order. Monster Battle 2 against the taunting ominous unicorn, I win. So take the VP and bounty, pass out the loot, and throw in our temporary journey tokens. Now to face the taunting ominous invincible Hydra. Journey cards passed out. Check my adventures. Search dawn, noon, and dusk. Now play them. What do I need for that last adventure? Do my three searches and discard. Pay four and play each of the last three. Done. I beat the Hydra, so I take the VP and the bounty and pass out the loot. End of game totaling, take VP tokens for quests, pull out the score sheet, add VP tokens, coins, points at the bottom of journey and loot cards, adventures, subtract a point for each blood, and sum it up. And that's a four-player game of Jack. If you like what you saw, you can play right now by going to Tabletop Simulator and searching for Jack or Journey Adventure Quest. Send us a note on social media and we'll find a good time to play with you. You can also go to TriceratopsGames.com and sign up for updates. 
We hope to launch our Kickstarter campaign in June 2022. Please back us. If this is after the successful campaign, go to our website and find out how to buy a copy. Thanks for your interest in Jack. At Triceratops Games, we believe in fun strategy together. All the best, and happy gaming.